Today I'm going to be checking my cylinder head uh, to see if the valves are properly secured and in place and have an airtight seal. So what I'm going to need to do is um, I'm going to be pouring an alcohol down into uh, the intake canal and uh, that will see if it drips out from where uh, the valve actually um, moves in and out of the cylinder head. And uh, if there's a leak, then that means that we have to take the valve out, which is kind of a pain, but putting it back together is even worse. Uh, while it's out, I'm going to be um, making a fire. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. And then um, hopefully that fix the seal. So let's get to it. All right, what I've got here is a uh, uh, denatured alcohol, which I'm going to pour it down into this hole to see if there's a leak coming out of either one of these two valves. So let's do so right now. Don't spill, come on. There we go, got that nice and filled. We're gonna check here, see if we have a, any leakage. Oh, wait. Looks like, yep, we've got a little, a little bit. So, I'm gonna have to take that apart now. That's gonna be fun. I've got this uh, fantastic clamp that I use to um, squeeze the, uh, the valve out of here so that I can um, get those little clasps out because those things are a pain. Okay, that is in place. And I just got to tighten. Okay, tightening that up. How's that looking? Oh, see, one of the little claps already popped out. And what's great is that I have this magnetized screwdriver. And you see this little guy? This. Oh, those things are a pain. So I got one out. I need to put that back in place which is what takes forever and of course there's two around each valve okay so since both of them are now out they just they easily came out with my magnetic uh, screwdriver as you can see now I just need to unscrew all of this and once that's out everything will be really really easy to uh, take apart it all just basically disassembles itself once those two clasps are out of the way now Look at here. I can take this off. This is the top of my spring. We've got the spring itself. Okay, spring. And then right here, what we have is the valve, which I'll just poke out. That's our valve. Okay, see how pretty it is? It's a new valve. And what we need to do is along this line right here, is uh, grind it on the uh, other side of the cylinder head here and then that'll give it a more flush uh, airtight watertight seal this process is called uh, lapping we have a fine valve lapping compound so what I need to do is just take a little bit of this stuff it looks like uh, like like liquid concrete which is really cool um, and then I just take that and I give a little dabber around the edge here of the valve. Once that's on, oh, not too far. Just barely on the edge. Living on the edge. Then what we do, we insert it here into our respective hole. <laughs> Put it in the hole. It'll slide on down properly. Thank you. And once that is in place, then we've got this special tool. Basically just looks like a piece of wood with two suction cups on the end of it. And then we make it stick right here. And then basically what I like to call uh, starting a fire. Once we get that squished. All right, that's, you just gotta keep spinning that until it creates a nice seal around the edge here okay basically once that is done 
which hopefully should be done now. Ooh, losing light. Um, hypothetically, we should have a nice smooth edge around here. So we got the valve out, then we just get a little assembly lube. Don't we all love lube? Uh, and then just and that'll be ready to go back in place. Remember those tiny little bitty clasps? This is the fun part, putting them down in here and putting them securely in place. After a painstaking 25 minutes, I finally got the valve in place. I can fill this to check the water, or not water. And I filled it with the liquid and it looks good to me. Thank you for joining me in this educational journey. I hope that uh, you learned a lot and that you understand a little bit more about what I've been doing.